Good morning, ladies and gents. Well, it's morning when I'm recording this, and I am very tired. And I want to talk to you guys about something that I have noticed. Um, so, for those who are unaware, um, I am currently single. Uh, my relationship ended. Not going into details. And uh, I am now in Los Angeles, living with friends. Yes, I know. A lot of updates. Bit of whiplash. la di da di da But... In the wake of uh, monumental life changes, I have elected to become a little bit of a whore. And in that in in that vein, I well, I downloaded Tinder. I have not been on this godforsaken app since the fall slash summer. Of no, nah, more like fall of 2020. I have not been on this app basically since my previous relationship started. I have been out of the loop. Now I want now I have been on this app for like a week and a half, and when I tell you that this I didn't think Tinder could get worse. And I had heard stories. Oh my god, it's bad. So I'm going to sort of just, as somebody who was in something akin to a time capsule for half a decade, I'm going to sort of kind of, I want to use this video as a way to give perspective on how far this app has fallen. So let's first talk about... Um, Tinder itself. So obviously, you know, you have your typical settings and things of that nature to determine. The thing about Los Angeles is, is that you don't really want to match with anybody more than 10 miles away because unlike in the Northeast, the illustrious, the, the best part place, part area to live in the United States, um, going more than 10 miles anywhere is like a 30 minute endeavor. And like, Unless you know you're going to have a good time, it's kind of not recommended. Um, you also have a bunch of things, like a lot of these uh, uh, suggestions and a lot of these uh, uh, filters that you would normally add. Many of these used to be free. Pl Tinder Platinum. What is that? Well, let's take a little look real quick, shall we? For those who are wondering, I'm using BlueStacks and Android emulator to do this on the computer. Tinder Platinum. You, you have unlimited likes, see who likes you, and something new called priority likes. So, so here's the thing about the subscription model that exists. Back when I was on here, it was $10 a month to get you know, features like unlimited likes, see who likes you, unlimited rewinds, you know, you'd get one free boost a month, um, you would get uh, three super likes a week, you would, you know, get, you know, you'd, you'd be able to control like who sees your profile, all of that for $10 a month. Now, $10 a month gets you unlimited likes, Unlim and that's it <laughs> for ten dollars a week a week for ten dollars a week forty dollars a month you can get just liking everybody here's the problem with that though one of the things that tinder has changed is in before anybody says I've already canceled my subscription. I've already canceled my subscription. Like I, I, I paid for Plinder, Tinder Platinum once just to sort of see for this video as well as so I could, you know, have like, see if I could have a decent experience. And I did, I got my dick sucked the other day. So I'm not opposed. Um, I will say that, and here's where it's egregious because the way that these apps are built, they want you to use, um, 
you know, they want you to buy Tinder Platinum. They, if you, if we look back at, you know, the Tinder Platinum stuff, it says priority likes. Your likes will be seen or as priority likes. What does that mean? What that means is, is that you're boosted in the algorithm. You are more likely to be seen. Now, in places like my home of the great state of Delaware, that does not matter. Because, you know, there is a relatively limited pool with of people. It is much smaller. You know, everybody's going to see everybody no matter what. But when you are in a place like Los Angeles or New York or Chicago, where there are tens of thousands of people per square mile, you're not going to get any matches if you don't, if, if you're not at the forefront. So here's an example, right? My roommates have a friend named Trant who came over yesterday. I didn't get a chance to meet him because I was exhausted and I passed out. But apparently he has been here for months and he's only gotten like a few matches, like a match or two a month. I have gotten something like 50 in like a week. So here, so why must it be? Well, for one thing, I my profile is very much I curated more so to like you know, I've got nice pictures of me. I have a meme. I have a picture of my child, Nico. I miss him very much. And then I have like a, a funny photo that shows like I'm not just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an actual person, you know, and, you know, normal bio, all of this stuff. You know, obviously your your profile is an important aspect of it. But I think what mainly the big thing here that is causing, you know, someone like Trent to not have a good is because he's not paying to get boosted in the algorithm because you have to remember with these dating apps the the the, you, the money maker isn't going to be the women the women here are the draw you know by virtue of how dating apps work women get inundated with with uh likes they get inundated like like men are constantly like dming them and spamming them it's deeply overwhelming and i'm not in these this isn't me assuming this this is me talking to to home girls and my female roommates and stuff like the, the, like this is normal like like you know they like there's it's just part of being a woman on the internet is constantly having men like sending their actual or metaphorical dicks to you at all times but on the man side of stuff is you because like you know women have to be very selective not even just for their own taste but also their own safety you know because you know you have because women you know there's a 50 50 shot like the person that they're going with will fucking hurt them you know so they take a risk every single time they go out with you so they have to be very particular you know you guys have to just constantly like every single person they see because you have you you don't really have a choice of being picky there because first of all you know you, they, they, you have to make yourself unique among the um you know sea of page of pictures on the on the board but you also not only that have to make yourself unique among the absolute inundated sea of, of messages that that people are seeing in their inboxes so it is difficult and it's but in 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 that is less of a by the design of tinder and more of the by design of what the fuck is that uh and that's more by the design of just like ha like how you know dating in the digital realm works and there's nothing i don't think there's nothing there's nothing necessarily wrong with that um you know that's just the way it is in 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 in, in so, so be it but what I will say is, is, is that um, the monetization of Tinder is has gotten very predatory in, in in that way. So remember how I said that like you like ten dollars will get you a week, a week will get you just one feature of Tinder Platinum. Do you know how much Tinder Platinum is? Almost twenty dollars. Almost twenty dollars a week for those features and that's not all 
Like, uh, you'd think that they would just cut it with the Tinder Platinum and you'd be fine, but no, they also have these boosts. So these boosts, they've always existed. You used to get them for free when you paid for the subscription. And it allows you to basically put you to the top of the of the list um, during a thing. They also, and now, because it's a fucking thing, they have primetime boosts, which you can, which are $15 to, to do, to do, and holy shit, like, they're, they're $15, and they, and they automatically go when, like, boost, when, like, a primetime, which is a time period where lots of people are on, starts. It's insane. You still have your super likes, you don't get these for free anymore, and they cost three they cost a dollar it costs three dollars and 33 cents a piece this costs 60 odd like like this costs like 75 odd dollars for 50 super likes three times more likely to get a match no it doesn't fucking matter you have to remember that these poor fucking women are inundated with you know men seeking their attention all the fucking time it's it, it's overwhelming so super like is fine and danny but it's not doesn't guarantee shit lastly i like the and, and this is probably i think the most egregious thing for me so i want to look at this the, the read receipts You guys know read receipts, right? The thing that comes like free on text messages. You know, the thing that shows that somebody read your message. Yeah, they're charging you $3 to see if somebody read your shit. Or $2 each for five. So $10. Or 20 bucks so you can read 20 of them. I, meanwhile, meanwhile, you can just say, like, meanwhile, you can not pay for that and understand that. If it's gone been more than 24 hours of somebody reaching out, like texting you back, they're not interested. Them's the breaks. Because newsflash, if somebody was interested in you, they can find the time to hit you back. I promise you, that's how this shit works. Ladies and gentlemen, if they are not hitting you back, after 24 hours, if they haven't hit you back, they ain't fucking interested. Now, if they come back and say, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I got completely caught up. How are you? And then and then it, everything goes back to normal. That's different. But if it's like only texting you once a day, it's not a fucking thing. I promise you. I'm sorry. So this is all just absolutely insane to me. I, I'm going to be so for real. Like, t like, Tinder is such a goddamn wasteland now that, like, after this week, I've got my matches. I've met my people. Like, if, sh think, if, 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 like, I've got, I've got a friends with benefits. I've got, I've met, I'm talking to, like, four other people. All of these people are wonderfully nice human beings. I like spending time with them. I like engaging with them. Great. Wonderful. So for me, we're good, but like I, like, and by the way, Bumble is kind of the same way too. Like for those who, so just to pull up a, a visual uh, for folks, you know, this shit, Bumble. If the damn computer would stop lagging for a second. There we go. Yeah, this shit. Yeah, Bumble. Bumble, you know, the, the app that's like, she texts you first, like giving women more agency in terms of like, they have to be the ones that, to pick you, which, you know, by the way, I loved that idea. And the reason I say that in the past tense is they got rid of that. Women no longer text first. You have to text first. The app that made me as a man did two things. One, validated me by knowing that, like, it made me feel validated and, you know, made me feel better about myself, knowing that the person who's messaging me chose to actively want to message me, first of all. And second, made me know that the person who's texting me actually was interested in me in some way, so as long as I don't fuck up, it'll work out. But they got rid of that. 
completely disregarding the thing that made Bumble unique, and the thing that made me as a man like it, and the thing that made women like it as well. Not even talking about their fucking awful ad campaign over the summer that was dog shit, but, you know, even that was like, in like, in like, you know, misogynistic, but that's neither here nor there. You know, and then there's Hinge, which I don't feel ethically I can go on because that feels like it's all people looking for an actual relationship. So, so yeah, y'all, the, uh, I know that, like, listen, I hate podcast bros as much as the next normal human being. But when I tell you that, yes, the, da like, da like, online dating is awful, I heard people saying it all throughout my last relationship. I heard people saying it for years while I was, while I was like, you know, happy and, and you know, in monogamy land. It, 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 it's cooked. I, I, y'all, y'all were not exaggerating on how bad this shit was. Like, like I, and I, and I, and I, and I, like, I, I saw, I, I saw somebody when I met up with somebody to, you know, for a little get together, she showed me her Tinder and I'm like, oh my God. Your shit is awful for completely different reasons. These men are fucking horrendous. What is wrong with them? It makes me want to shake them and tell them to man up. But I digress. Like, this is like, just like, why are you being so weird and misogynistic? You fuckhead. But I don't know. I, I just, I needed to get this out because this was something that I had noticed. And this is like, it's hell. We're in hell. I, we're all in hell. So. Thank y'all for making it to the end of this video. I'm going to send you to pre-recorded Evan. I'm over on Blue Sky a bunch now, which is better Twitter anyway. So if you all want to go follow me on there, uh, check it out. I'll catch you up on the flip. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And... Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.